Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to the Ellison Education video series. Today we're learning a fun way to practice any foreign language vocabulary words. And to do that, I've used this three-piece puzzle as the basis for this task. You can see that the die is going to cut all three puzzle pieces and they're always going to nest together perfectly because it's on one die. Then if you look for this time, we're going to be using lots of different shapes. The one that I'm going to build for you, it uses the butterfly. But look at all the choices. Here you can see that I've got the Spanish word for flower, and then a picture of the flower, and then the English version. And above that, I've done the same thing with the fish. And if you look over here, I've recreated the same three puzzle pieces, but this time where the kids are learning the apple. And above that, I've repeated it with the star. But the one that I thought we would build today would be the butterfly. And in each case, you're going to do the same process. So if I want the middle section to have the picture, and it can be cut out of a magazine, it can be, I'm using die cuts, the kids can draw them. But what you want to do is start by adding the details right on the die cut shape itself. And once again, this is a great way to get your kids involved, is to let them help to create all these loose pieces that you'll then assemble. So I'm going to put a little more detail on the wings. So as you finish coloring, in this case with the dark, you want to give it a minute to, to dry and then I'm going to go back and I'll just add some of the white polka dots. The, how much detail is really up to you, but if you're going to have the kids be participating in the decorating of the project, let them have fun with it and go crazy. They don't have to decorate what would look like a real butterfly. They can use their imagination and create kind of a fantasy butterfly if they want. But once you have it decorated to your liking, then you're going to put adhesive on the back. And I'm going to attach it to the middle piece. So I'll get it there. And then what I did was I took this sticker sheet and I used the sticker letters in order to write the Spanish word for butterfly, mariposa, and then the English word. If you, in fact, if you look here at the finished one, you can see. But that's if you have, if you're making one set and you think you're going to reuse them over and over, maybe you want to spend the time to do it with stickers. If you're going to have these for each child to make their own, maybe it's great to have them handwrite it themselves. That's their first chance to practice writing the Spanish and the English version. Now, this is using it for to create basically puzzle flashcards for Spanish English vocabulary, but really the, the possibilities are endless. You can put this three-piece puzzle to good use to practice everything from state capitals to foreign language.